in the previous video we learned that the corresponding angles are equal if uh, the two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal line and now in this video relation we're going to learn that alternate interior angle interior sometimes we simply say alternate uh, angle also alternate interior angles uh, are also equal if the two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal line all right if these two parallel lines let's say this line l1 and l2 both are parallel right these are parallel lines this is the symbol for giving parallel lines and if these two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal line let's say line l at that time the angle uh, alternate angles all right this is alternate angle with this one all right this let's say this is angle one and this is angle two at that time angle one will be equal with angle two and these are called uh, these two line will be called that time alternate interior angle or in short we say alternate angles and alternate interior angles are always equal keep in mind similarly we will have one more if this is three then this will be four alternate interior angles from the name itself you know alternate it means uh, both side of the transversal from this side also and this side also and both should be interior you know in internal part of that see here uh, this angle three is the internal part all right and angle 4 is also an internal part not outside not outside the angle is not forming outside only in inside of that so such angles are always equal uh, and are called alternate interior angles if you if you see here uh, let me write this 3 equals to 4 also first angle 3 and angle 4 are equal let me give you an example uh, if if this is angle 30 130 let's say then if the question is asking what is the value of y degree so y is directly you can write 130 degree if these two lines are parallel if these two lines are parallel and this is transversal line then these are alternate interior angles and you can directly write y equals to 130 degree because alternate interior angles alternate interior angle interior angles formed between two parallel lines is equal all right huh similarly uh, let me give you one more example let's say uh, this is now 30 degree all right and uh, you need to find out the uh, value of this let's say this is x degree all right so how to find the value of x what is the value of x so by simple linear pair if this is a straight line if this is 30 degree then this should be in such amount that this together makes 180 degree because this is a linear pair so this should be 150 degree 150 plus 30 this is 180 degree now if is if it is 150 degree this must be this must be 150 degree because this is parallel lines and in parallel lines alternate interior angles or simply alternate angles are always equal all right let me give you one more example uh, okay all right uh, here you need to find out which are alternate interior angles all right I'm giving the name to all angles one two three four five six seven eight pause the video and find out what are the alternate interior angles here which are uh, which uh, alternate interior, uh, interior angles are equal okay okay let's just start pause it i hope you made it right 100 percent right here uh, the alternate interior angles are angle two equals angle five all right and another alternate interior angle is angle three equals angle 6 all right angle 3 equals angle 6 now let's do another exercise uh, very simple exercise based on the alternate interior angle uh, let's say uh, this is line l1 and this is line l2 and uh, if this is 50 degree let me say this is first parallel all right if this is 50 degree then find out the value of this x degree okay so how can i find out the value of this uh, x degree you can find out the value of x dd uh, by the two methods that we already learned one using corresponding angle all right another now we are using or now we are learning alternate angle if you use alternate angle then uh, this is 50 degree and if it is 50 degree then this must be 130 degree right and if this is 130 degree the alternate angle alternate interior angle this must be 130 degree and if this is 130 degree this must be 50 degree because this is a linear pair and this should make 180 degree. this was one method and if you use your corresponding angle that will be even shorter you know if it is x then the uh, by the rule of particular opposite angle this will be x and now this is 
corresponding to this angle so that's why directly you can write x equals to 50 degree because corresponding angles are equal here but you can use the alternate angle also all right uh, and in the next video uh, we'll be doing a co-interior angles the sum of the co-interior angles is 180 degree that we're going to learn and later we'll be doing a lot of practice of this uh, alternate interior angles all right don't worry we, we're gonna have a very good concept in geometry see you in the next video goodbye